What up, fellas? So, today I'm not fixing, well, I am fixing cars. I'm not recording those cars, but, you know, this morning when I, I was about to leave home and drop my key, you know, into my pocket, went to the key hanger or holder and I realized that the key wasn't there. So, and then, you know, a switch just flipped in my head and remember that the key, the only key that I have to start my car, this car right here, an old Junker Impreza, well, that key, I left it last day, last night, actually. I left it in my wife's car. So I didn't have a key to start my car, to open my car, actually, and then start my car. So long story short, ever since I got the car, it came with this key and the key fob. Okay, so the car starts with this key and this key fob. You can start the car with the key. You can unlock the car with the key fob or remote. Like that. But since I didn't have a key nor a remote to open it, you know, that totally threw me off schedule and I was late for work. And, but ever since I got the car, you know, I called the super dealer and they sent me this, you know, they sent me this key. Um, of course, I have to ask my friend. Uh, Brian at Armor Knight to cut the key for me and he did so the key you know you stick it into the ignition lock cylinder and it turns the you know the, the cylinder on to the start position but because it's not programmed to the car um the mobilizer prevents the engine from starting so but you know what i bought this autel im608 and i've been using this scan tool in other videos and other cars that i repair this though again is my personal car so i don't even know if this machine is able to erase or program keys on this subaru I know by um, experience that when it comes to programming keys on any Subaru, it's not it's not as easy as doing a Ford, you know, like an older Ford or um, Chevy or. I know these cars are not simple, so this is what the repair manual says. So it says registration. Registration is a procedure that must be carried out when an additional, an additional key is purchased or when either a key, ECM, or combination meter is replaced. The procedure includes initialization of the system and re-registration of the TEN code. Once initialized, the system loses the TEN code it has retained so far and has no code until a new code is registered. TEN codes for up to four keys, transponders, can be registered with a, with a body integrated unit, or in other words, a body control module. To prevent a copied key to be used, any set of keys for maximum can be registered only with one body integrated unit. Therefore, if a body integrated unit is replaced with a new one, the keys having been used with the old body integrated unit cannot be used with a new body integrated unit. The keys must, must be replaced simultaneously with body integrated unit. Registration is carried out by an authorized person using a select monitor and special program. Access to the program is strictly controlled for reasons of security. The security says 10 kept by customer is required for registration.
As the 10 code for all register keys are clear when registration is started, registration must be performed with all keys, including spares, handed from the customer. So in other words, if you want to program your keys to your car, you know, if you happen to have just one key like me, and you want to register another key, good luck. I will show you what a, what happens when you stick a program key into a lock cylinder of this 2008 Subaru Impreza. There is a light. Yeah, there is a light flashing on the instrument cluster. It says security. So when you stick the key in there, without even turning the the key, security light goes away. It doesn't flash. Well. Pull it out and then there you, there's your security light flashing again. But when you stick this unprogrammed key, unregistered key into the ignition lock cylinder without turning the key, look what happens. There is our security light. It's not flashing, but rather it's uh, on. So I guess that uh, integrated unit is, uh, you know, without even turning the key on to the on position, is uh, letting you know that that key is not programmed to the car. So. But let's see what happens. We're gonna move on and and see what happens when you stick the program key into the car, you know. Well, the regular procedure is that, you know, all the lights come on and the gate just go up and down like crazy. But the light, the security light goes away. It never, it never flashes. You never see it on again until the next uh, time you stick the key or you pull the key and then you stick it back into the lock cylinder. But um, Let's find out if uh, this machine is gonna do it. I might mess it up. I might trigger the immobilizer or I might erase the keys entirely and not able to drive the car again, but I'm gonna take my chances and see what happens. Um, let me exit out of here. Now for, for those of you that, uh, they, you know, whoever that is viewing this video and you haven't used this machine yet, you have, uh, you have, uh, a few options here in the main menu. You have Inmo, and there's a car, you know, a drawing of a car and a key fob. Let's go ahead and click on Inmo or Immobilizer, and you get a bunch of warnings here, you know, like a disclaimer about the use of the product and software, and that's because, you know, if you happen to have machine like this or you put your hands on one of these machines that means you must be involved in the auto repair business or somebody that is just going randomly stealing cars you know so that's why it gives you this warning there it says that you gotta read this disclaimer every time you are gonna use the machine you know it says dear customer thank you for using our outtail products this product includes a mobilizer function which may uh, change the vehicle configuration of the mobilizer that cause malfunction. You will be consent to the following terms and conditions when using this product. You acknowledge that the mobilizer function of this product may change the vehicle configuration of the mobilizer that, that cause malfunction. Meanwhile, 
The vehicle information will be uploaded automatically to Autel servers for backup. An improvement of user experience, you agree to assume any possible damages and bear full responsibility for all risks. Autel and its distributors will not, be, will not bear any responsibilities for any illegal or improper use of the mobilizer, mobilizer function of Autel products, including but not limited to change the vehicle configuration of the mobilizer that caused to malfunction. Vehicle security information being uploaded to Autel server and legal responsibility for software theft, Autel will not be responsible to the cost of the product under the regulation. So there you go. If you use it and you or you misuse it, you're gonna be liable for that. So if you thieves out there are thinking about messing around, stealing cars or doing that, you know, with an Autel key programmer, keep in mind that you are liable for all the damages. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, uh, let's keep on going because my phone is overheating for some reason. Every time I record with my phone, it just overheats. Since, you know, since I'm using this cheap Google phone, I guess it's, it's not like an iPhone, you know. Manual selection, system selection. Now, the the reason I want to add this extra key, click on auto identify, see what it does. The reason I want to program these keys is because I don't know if I'm going to be able to erase all the keys. I just don't want anybody out there that might have a key for this car. So there's not many options on this screen other than all keys lost. Well, I'm going to take my chances. All keys lost. Insert the key to be learned and turn the ignition and turn on the ignition. Learning successful. Would you like to learn the next the next one? Uh yes. Yes I do. Most certainly I do. Okay, switch the key off. This is the unprogram key. So you put it on. Oh crap. Okay, I guess. I'm not supposed to take all the time in the world to do it, so let's go back. All keys lost. <laughs> okay, it says insert the key. So we're going to insert this unprogrammed key, the new one. All right. Counting. Uh, I better have a program key ready because it looks like a. You gotta stick the key as soon as you are done with the first one. So, yes. Okay, turn it off. Insert next key and switch the ignition. Switch to on position. There is our security light flashing. Learning successful. Would you like to learn the next one? And I don't have a next one or an extra one, so no. Learning successful. Okay. 
Let's find out. Now, this is the key that I had, you know, the one that started the car. So I'm gonna stick it in, into the lock cylinder and pay attention to that security light. All right, well, it went out. Got it out, put it back in, and the security light stops flashing. So let's try with the new one. Remember when the key, you know, when the new key, as soon as I put the new key into the lock cylinder, the light will start, uh, it'll stay on. Now I pull it out, security light flashes, put it back in, goes away. So more than likely, we successfully programmed these two keys. Although one of them was already programmed, but let me remove my BCI because it's getting on the way. Hold on a second. Okay, well, let's find out. Let's try our new key, see if it starts the car. Aha! Uh -huh. That's with the new key. Let's try the old one. Security light out. Well. I'm impressed. That's it. That Autel IM608, it's worth every penny I pay for it. Really good. So if you want, if you guys want to know whether it's worth it investing money on a diagnostic machine like the one that I just show you go for it you won't be disappointed until the next one out